All right, so I'm kind of having that feeling going through my head like, what the heck kind of moment. Okay. I'm going to use this 729 grasshopper for a example. Okay. We got some guys at work. Okay, we got some guys at work. And, you know what? I'll show you on that other John Deere. Hang on. Um, this is the skid steer I'm going to use for reference. Because, um, these pins down here, well, not on this pickler loader. Um, but that New Holland skid steer that we got, these pins are wore out. Okay? They're wore out to where, um, I think I can show you. Uh, yes and no. There's a little bit of slop in the, uh, this mount plate, okay? Because there's grease fittings, you know, right there, right there. Right there, my finger's touching it, okay? Right there. There's a grease fitting. You're supposed to put grease in it. Okay? You're supposed to put grease in it, but nobody does, okay? Nobody greases a thing. Now, I'm not saying this machine, because I grease this machine. I grease it. You guys have seen me grease this machine. Have you not? You guys have seen me grease this thing. I take good care of this machine, okay? There is a grease fit in there. There's a grease fitting on both hubs. There's a grease fit in here, okay, that has, the only way you can get it to take grease is, um, well, I'm gonna take the grease fitting out and change it because it is not currently taking grease. There's a grease fitting down in there, okay? There's a grease fitting down in there. That gets grease, there's a grease fitting right there. Hey, there's a grease fitting, uh, that one down there like we talked about. There's one in the center there. There's one right there, right there, okay? And there's one right there, and the same on the other side, okay? What them guys did not do for a whole year, because that machine gets used in sand and all that, they just refused to grease it. They just refused to grease it. Now, I don't know if these pictures that I just took a couple of hours or so ago is going to do any justice, but you guys see just how war that pin is. Yeah, that pin is war. And the same with this pin. It is war, okay? And that is how you take the quick catch off of the New Holland skid loader um we don't have bushings for either for either set the cylinder and or the bottom end we need the we got the end or the bushings that go through the loader arm there but we need the ones that go through the mount plate end not the cylinder end the end that the the bushings that go through the plate that go to the loader end. We do not have those. We got bushings for the cylinder end, but they gave us little doinky bushings that are like that big. Like, what the heck? How in the world, you know, are them bushings gonna go through that, them pins? They're not. So, we're gonna be waiting on them, but uh, these got those guys that uh we had working for us last year just well i don't know it ain't taking grease so i don't care well take the fitting out okay this is a hydraulic quick touch hang on let me see it's a hydraulic quick touch right there right there is a grease fitting that greases that quick touch um, 
they did not grease it well um if you don't grease it the quick tatch don't work the same with greasing that pin there's a grease fitting oh the picture don't show up but there's a grease fitting there that they didn't grease and they didn't grease the grease fitting for there okay why they didn't grease that is just because they were too lazy to say oh the thing quit taking grease you know let's you know change it um no no that's just pure lazy i mean <laughs> i hope the mechanic keeps them pins so that uh i can show my father tomorrow if he comes to work but and people are just they're just lazy they are they, they they don't care if if they don't own it you know if they don't personally own that particular piece of equipment then why should they care about it you know just like leaving their dang uh water bottles and drink cups and pop cans and shoving them all behind the seat and then why is it up to the next guy who goes to run that thing um why is it up to them to clean it out you know the pre it it should be up to the previous operator to clean the machine out take your trash bring a little bring a grocery bag to work and put your trash in the grocery bag mm-hmm yep it's not that hard we live in a society where People are just lazy, and it's it's sad, it's sickening, it's depressing that nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work, and we don't get it. We we don't get it. I, if you don't know how to grease something, or you know something's not taking grease say hey you know can you come help me you know we might need to move the loader arms up and down or you know do something different or do something to get this to take grease but no no if it ain't taking grease we're just not going to fix it nope 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 Nope, 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 wrong answer. For the longest time, this thing was just as loose as a goose. Um, and it come time that we, uh, I took this out. This was simple. I let somebody else do this one because it was a bit more complicated. Um, but there's a nine or a straight on grease fitting here. And I was thinking, why can't we... Put a 90 on this i asked the mechanic and he's like well we'll probably get beat would we'll probably get broke off by rocks if you put a 90 there because whenever you got either the dirt bucket or the pallet forks on you can't get to this grease fitting can't get to this grease fitting so um and with this being down there so this is almost in line with this here. This would almost be stood straight up like that and it would make it hard to get on this. So you have to tilt this thing all the way down to be able to get on that grease fitting. But ah, uh, here's these pins. That, that is not dirt. You see that? That is not dirt. That is pure neglect. That is pure neglect, okay? How it's round on this side, but yet, um, not round on that side. Yeah, this one's worse. This one is worse. Um, again, lack of grease, okay? Lack of grease because nobody knows how to grease the thing um yeah see are these the new 
Yes. These are the new pins. Okay. Or oh, wait a minute. No. Maybe? What do we got going on here? I don't know. Or were these the ones that I took out? I think these were the ones. Yes, these were the these are the ones. Okay, they go like a disc. Okay, but instead they go um they go this away because this hole here lines up with that hole down there and you put your bolt through it. Tighten her down and uh you're good to go. Um just see how loosey goosey that is um and that is a result of no grease okay that's a result of no grease i grease this machine every time um we go to use it every time i go to use it um it gets grease okay it gets grease i don't know why People have to neglect things, but they do, okay? They do, and it is quite um, aggravating that they have to uh, neglect things, but it, 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 it's just how it is. It's just how it is. It's sad that people have to neglect, neglect things, and it just makes us cost more money because we have to buy things twice as much because of their neglectivity, I think I want to say. I mean, and that machine only has 2,000 engine hours on it. And we're already having to redo the um, bucket pins on it because people just neglect it. They do, okay? That John Deere skid loader has 4,000 engine hours on it and doesn't see anywhere near the amount of neglect that the New Holland skid loader sees. Okay? It just doesn't. Now, it's a good loader. Okay? I got no complaints about the New Holland. Um, the thing is a little too big to have over here at the farm for like bedding de barns and stuff of that nature um and that's where the little john deere comes in nice and handy is for inside the barn and stuff like that but could could that new holland do it i think it could but you would really, 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 really have to watch what you're doing with that thing because it's like two, three times the size of the little John Deere at the farm here. But granted, that New Holland does see a lot of sand, okay? I'll admit, that thing does see a lot of sand for cleaning up around the wet plant and all that wash plant and um but then again too that is why you grease the machine so that them pins ride on grease as they um are rolling inside that uh loader frame um so that you know the pins just
just not sitting there grinding on metal. What is, which is what has happened. We shouldn't be having to do this at 2,000 hours. But 